So welcome back to the shop, friends. I've got an update today on the uh, dirt bike survival kit, something that I have added that I think is probably, well, it was for me, I think for a lot of people, one of the most overlooked items in a survival kit. This doesn't necessarily, uh, isn't only applying to a dirt bike survival kit. This could be a vehicle, anything, boat, aircraft, anything like that. Uh, it's a product that um, I didn't even know existed. And in my search for some sort of a locator beacon or some sort of way to notify someone that, that if I was in distress or I had crashed and I was far away and I just I couldn't self-rescue, uh, that, um, uh, th that I could get help coming. So, of course, you know, we're all familiar with the spot. You know, the spot is, the, um, is a, a subscription satellite service. We've seen the little device. It's a little orange deal with a push button. And the idea is is you push the button and it sends a signal to a dispatch center somewhere. They forward to your local search and rescue teams and um, start coordinating a rescue. Also with the spot, it has um, the ability that you can pre-program and you can text some messages. So you could contact your loved ones and say, oh, you know, leaving the trailhead or everything is okay, that sort of the thing. Problem with that one uh, is that it has a, a monthly subscription whatever that is, I don't know, it's $20, $30 a month. And that I think turns a lot of people off. But I was kind of thinking, you know, that was, I, I, that, to my knowledge, that was the only thing that was out there and I was about ready to go that direction. Fortunately, my brother-in-law uh, came over for Jack's birthday, uh, who is, uh, he uh, does a lot of extreme stuff, backcountry skiing and dirt biking in very, very remote areas. And I was asking him about it and he said, what you need is you need the ACR. That's what we all carry. I didn't know what an ACR was, um, but I have one now. And, it, and from what I understand in, in my research, uh, there's nothing else that compares to this. So before we get into it, let's talk about what are your options when you, if you do are going to go in a remote area. My, per, my, my particular concern is that we have uh, really extremely remote dirt biking areas where we can be 40, 50 miles away from, from the car, uh, if not more, pretty easily. And if you fall and hurt yourself or, or get in an accident, getting out of there, or even if you're with some buddies getting you out of there, especially if you can't be moved, um, is a serious, serious problem. And uh, something that I think that you, you might want to think about. So the options that we have, cell phone. It's not reliable, it's not durable. Battery run, are always a problem. They're always running down, especially when it gets cold. It's just not at all a, a uh, something you want to depend on. Satellite phone. Satellite phone is uh, another is also very expensive. Not very rugged. Uh, I have a friend who bought or rented one uh, that ran a leg of the Baja 1000 on a dirt bike, and they thought that that was going to be the solution. They had some problems, some issues. The satellite phone completely failed on them. The battery went dead. When the battery was up, it wouldn't run, and it just wasn't durable enough. The spot, uh, that's another option. What I found out about that is it's not super reliable and it basically runs on, if I read right, the same frequency as a garage door opener. It's not a, <clears throat> it's not a super squared away system. Uh, funny story is uh, my brother-in-law was telling me one of his best friends, he had this, he had an ACR and he, and he had a spot on a remote dirt bike ride. He crashed real bad and he I thought, I think he was by himself, and he thought that he'd broken his back. <clears throat> He's a pretty, uh, obviously a pretty uh, prepared guy. He pushed both buttons. The ACR came through. The search and rescue team, they got the call. Everything was put into effect. The spot, when he got, he, when he got back and checked with it, they claimed that they never received the signal that nothing came through. And so right there, to me, that, that was, shows some concern. He believes that had he pushed the spot and not had the ACR, uh, that he would have never, um, no one would have ever come to help. Uh, the other op option that I don't know a lot about is Garmin's got a new GPS out that has a two-way texting feature as well. The downside with that is it's pretty expensive. It's double the cost of this. And still, there's a monthly subscription fee. So. I, I just don't like that monthly subscription fee. I wanted something that was uh, robust, strong, that was purpose-built for this, that was gonna be supported by um, go local governments, by NOAA, by um, a satellite network that was rock solid uh, with no subscription fee, and that's what the ACR uh, is exactly. So let's come in here close, I'll show you how it works, 
and uh, some of its features. So let's take a close up look of the ACR and how it works here. So it's pretty, sh it's pretty small. It's about the size like a, of an old flip phone, a little bit thicker, uh, but a very robust case. It looks like uh, it's something that you could run over with your car. Very purpose built, very tough. Now, how it, uh, how it works is you have a wraparound antenna here and you can do this with one hand. If you flip this here, right there, uh, the antenna unfolds. It's kept in this little uh, deal right there, and then it pops up right there. Okay, so according to the instructions here, what they say is you want this thing to be facing up towards the sky, and you flip the antenna up. Here you can see the antenna there. It just looks like a steel, like a steel band. That exposes two buttons right here. So we have our our res rescue button right there, you press that one time and that will activate the system and get search and rescue coming. The second button right here has a T on it and that's for test. So you can test uh, if the unit is functioning as well as if you are indeed sending and it's being received. You can download the app and by pushing the text button you can have a copy and a record of all of the, the test modes that you have sent. And just to verify before you go that indeed the unit is working. It's got an internal lithium battery that, that is not serviceable by, um, by the user. And what the battery life says on it is that it's five year, a five year battery lithium. So the reason why that lasts so long is, is you're not using it. The thing is just sitting in wait, um, not transmitting, not receiving, not doing anything until you're ready to use it. The other thing about it is that it, it's using, um, it's got five watts. Five watts of power compared to like the spots which are pretty anemic. This thing, according to what I've read, can blast through canopies, uh, it can go through uh, fog, inclement weather. It's really a serious, serious beacon. This is something that's pretty much standard. What, what I saw was on for marine applications. You can actually get this unit here that floats or doesn't float. I just got the cheapest one they had because I didn't need it to float, uh, but they all do the same thing. So just a quick test right there. If we hit the test button right there, we, so I think we have to hold it for one second. Hold it for one second, and then we should get a three light beep, or not a beep, but we'll get the LED and then the strobe and the flash. Now that tells us right there that the unit is functioning. Now if I hold it down for five seconds, this is in the test mode, Now it's actually sending a signal uh, to the, wherever it goes, the dispatch center um, and making a record uh, that I can access. So I could be 100% sure that this is working. Now you don't want to push this. <laughs> you don't want to get this in the hands of your kids or anything because once you push this, you could be liable uh, for uh, recovery fees, which can run in the hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on where you're at and what agencies are involved. This is not a toy. This is not something to be fooled with. Um, it's something that um, you want to use as an absolute last resort. When you run out of options, when you just, maybe you've broken your leg or broken your back or had a problem that you just can't overcome, um, this is a, a very, very good piece of insurance. And even if you are stuck with a, a rescue fee, um, so be it. You know, is, isn't it better than, than being dead? Uh, that's the way I look at it anyway. So to store it, uh, it just goes back here and this uh, antenna fits in the cradle. Right there. It doesn't hardly weigh anything. It's really a nicely built piece of equipment. Right there. It's blinking there because it's still doing that, uh, the GPS test. Also, you saw the strobe when we did the first test. When this is activated, the, the instructions say that it, the strobe will, will flash continuous. So it's another aid for people to, uh, to find you in the woods. Not only is it broadcasting uh, your GPS coordinates, it's also broadcasting a, a, um, a beacon uh, that is commonly used by search and rescue all around the world. You know, this is utilizing, this is not utilizing a private a satellite company. This is utilizing um, the two different satellite systems that are supported and that fed, you know, state governments pay into, uh, that they support. This is the standard, uh, from what I understand, uh, the, the best of the best. So when it comes down to choosing something like this over like the spot, um, you know, it's just, there's no comparison because price-wise, they're, they're just not that much difference. Then the nice thing about this one is you just don't have that added 
monthly fee and you can just have a peace of mind. I mean, what, what, what a peace of mind to have. Uh, just think of yourself in a situation with your family, even if you're in your car and you, you get off track somewhere. I mean, you hear the stories all the time of people who get stuck in the desert or stuck in the snow and they run out of gas or they break down and they die in their cars or they die walking out for lack of something like this that's um, about the same price as a pair of quality hiking shoes, less than a quality backpack. Um, I, I'm, I'm surprised myself that I didn't know about this and I'm really thankful to my brother-in-laws for, for uh, making me aware of it. I wanted to share this with you as well. Cost, what's the cost of it? Uh, I paid for this one on Amazon, I think it was $234. Um, and then they go up from there if you want different things. If you want to pay a monthly subscription, uh, you can. They do have a service where you can send um, your locations to five different emails, loved ones. So if you wanted to um, pay for that, you could. You can send it to, to your wife uh, that will give your location on Google Earth or Maps or wherever. All right, so let's wrap it up. So the obvious question is, is should you get one of these? Well, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you and it depends on your lifestyle, depends on what you do. Are you going offshore, uh, deep sea fishing? Um, are you backpacking in, in back in rough country that's miles and miles away from everything out of cell range? Are you riding dirt bikes on, on 80 mile adventure rides uh, with a high probability of, of somebody potentially getting hurt on and on and on? You know, if you are, you know, you might want to consider that. Uh, for me, uh, I guess what I would ask is, you know, why, why do you carry, why do we carry health insurance or, or life insurance? Um, uh, insurance against fire, insurance against theft on our vehicles, all of those things, because the probability is that it'll never happen and we'll never use it. Most people's houses are not going to burn down, yet we do it anyway. So it's just that peace of mind that comes with, with knowing that if I do have a problem, um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm going to have help. And what would be more comforting? What would make you feel, feel better than lying somewhere in pain with a broken leg, um, knowing that someone, someone is coming. Someone is coming to help, and um, uh, it's it's hard to put a it's hard to put a price on that. So, um, Mrs. W feels a lot better about me having this. I feel a lot better about having it. I'm going to carry it with us always. Even when we go on trips in the car, we'll throw it in. It doesn't take any space. I just thought it was a, a really cool product that I didn't even know existed uh, that uh, I wanted to share with you guys because um, I just I just know of. Uh, I just know of two people that have, the other one, I'll, I'll tell you, last story I'll share with you, is uh, my friend that used this that was rescued, I mentioned that. I have a, another buddy that was uh, the one that was racing down in Baja, the same guy just came to mind. Mine, I remember years ago, he called me on a cell phone and, and was asking for help. Uh, and he was in California and I was in Oregon and I couldn't really understand, the, the call was so broken up. But what happened is he had crashed his bike uh, in the desert and he had real spotty cell coverage and he was calling everyone that he knew trying to get help and I was the only one that had picked up. He ended up, ended up getting life flighted out of there. So, and, and I think because his cell phone worked, but had his cell phone not worked, uh, who knows what could have happened because he wasn't carrying something like this. So that's it. We'll see you guys on the next video.